what is up you guys it's your boy and the matrix and i am back and this time i got something interesting to share with you because uh, i've been talking about how you how you do not own your physical media right excuse me no, your digital media i made a video about like how you you don't own your kindle books you don't really own them did any anything digital your downloaded video games if you downloaded something for steam or epic games you don't own it it's all you you buy the license to use it basically but you don't own it same thing with music i mean unless you buy the cd the album then it's yours but other than that using spotify you don't own anything netflix you don't own anything okay this is all part of the big plan and i'm not i'm you know i don't want to go all conspiracy theory and wear a tinfoil hat but i'm just you know just throwing that out there I am here at the Ubisoft website and Ubisoft said that they are going to decommission their decommissioning online services. Now, I do want you guys to know that I am not the biggest Ubisoft fan. I'm really more of like Square Enix. I talk a lot about Square Enix, the Final Fantasy, right? Kingdom Hearts. But I pay attention to what happens in, in the gaming industry, in video, the game, video game world, right? And this is kind of scary because what Ubisoft is doing is very anti-consumer. Very anti-consumer. And it doesn't matter how you look at this. What they are doing is that they are straight up stealing from you. They are stealing from you because how is it that you buy a PC game and then you no longer have access to it? I'm going to talk about that right now. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell and like this video. I'm going to join us to get 1,000 subscribers, guys, and I very much appreciate your help. We're almost there, guys. Let's keep on going. Okay, so Ubisoft, let's, let's, let's take a look at this. Take a look at this. Here is the list of games that Ubisoft is decommissioning. So I'm going to go to the popular ones. It says Assassin's Creed 2 for PlayStation, no, no, for, for PlayStation 3 and PC. It says you will be unable to play multiplayer link ubisoft accounts in game or use online features right so you paid for these features but they're taking them away from you okay assassin's creed 3 2012 it says for the pc version you will you will be unable to play multi multiplayer link ubisoft accounts in game or use online features additionally the installation and access to downloadable content dlc will be unavailable so you will not have access to downloadable content so if you pay for any downloadable content guess what you you can't use it anymore they robbed you this is so how are you how am i gonna how am i gonna buy something and then years later you go and take it away from me this is your they are robbing their customers they are straight up stealing from their customers and if we go down here, other Assassin's Creed games, Assassin's Creed Liberation, PC version, it says you will be unable to link Ubisoft accounts in-game or use online features. Additionally, the installation and access to DLC will be unavailable. Anything that's DLC, you will not be able to use it for, uh, for you Assassin's Creed uh, fans, you know, players out there. So you pay, let's say, $20 for a DLC, and guess what? You can't use it. You can't use it. It's all theirs. So, and what I think, what I think is going to happen is that what they want you to do is to buy it again. They want you to buy it again on whatever other platform, or maybe they're going to re-release it again, so that so that you can you know try and and purchase it again. Maybe they're planning a, a brand new platform. I know that PlayStation they already have you know their the PlayStation Plus. Most likely, I think what they want you to just you know keep you know keep paying for things that you already have I look at driver San, san francisco same thing all these like they're taking away multiplayer access they're taking away you cannot link to your ubisoft account uh all their dlcs so you'll be able to play the games and i found a, actually a an article on the verge it says ubisoft says steam games like assassin's creed liberation hd will remain playable despite warnings yeah but if you pay for any dlc they're taking it away from you they are robbing you this is stealing. This is stealing. Right? And here on the verge it says last week Ubisoft announced that it will be shutting down multiplayer for more than a dozen player, a dozen games. Also on September 1st and four, four, four games on that list have 
have the will not be accessible notice the notice appears to warn players that their purchase won't be playable at all after they paid for it it said but confusingly current owners will actually be able to access affected games according to ubisoft they're, they're stealing from you they're stealing your money you paid for that so you know what you know what i don't i don't want to sound man i don't want to get i don't want youtube to come after me but i don't blame anybody if they become a pirate so guys if you want to be a pirate and sail the seven seas with freaking luffy and the gang of one piece or captain jack sparrow if you want to sail the seven seas and be a pirate and take all that treasure for yourself go ahead you have my blessings because what these jackasses are doing is that they're just taking your money they're straight up robbing you and making you think that you freaking own something so now more than ever it is important it is important to own physical media games dvds music uh you know albums cds let's go back to the two thousand to the 2000s before all this shit started anyways guys that is it for this video thank you for watching whatever you whatever your thoughts are make sure to comment below tell me what you think and um share the video it helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel subscribe subscribe hit the notification bell for future notifications i gotta keep talking about this shit covering these stories i talk a lot about the game industry as well as anime and manga so if you're into any of that stuff make sure to subscribe guys thank you for watching god speed